What's up all you don't cancel my Netflix Daredevil show dudes and you dads toy shiz here and I got a really quick review for you today We're totally gonna be checking out the brand new kingpin build a figure while also talking about the entirety of the new Marvel Legends Spider-Man kingpin build a figure wave set. I actually like this set a lot. There was a lot of new characters different takes on characters and just an overall looks to be great build a figure now I know Black Cat and Puma are not in this lineup, and I apologize, I have placed them elsewhere, and they're just not in my vicinity at the time of this review, unfortunately. However, we can put all of these pieces together, we can check out every figure. I'm going to be honest with you, Black Cat, nah, Puma is actually a pretty awesome figure, and I'm happy to have a brand new figure. Silver Sable, she's great, some paint issues, some cracking, things like that. Not the best Silver Sable that can be from Marvel Legends. But a nice early and first draft, let's say that. Really dig the Red Goblin, like what he's about. Really would have liked to have that black jet glider thing that he flies around on. But solid figure overall. Not a fan of the comic book aspect of the character, but definitely, definitely dig the figure. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, wait, why do you like that six-armed Spider-Man? Because it's pure nostalgia for me, baby. And I just love him. I think he's one of my favorite of the waves, as with the symbiote Spider-Man. Love him as well. Love the claws. The different take. How many times have I opened up a symbiote Spider-Man? A lot. And this one is a brand new version of that particular character, so he does stand out, and it's very cool. And then, of course, I also really, really like Night Thrasher. I think he's great. Little dinky skateboard, not gonna lie. But overall, he stands well. He's got a nice presence to him. I definitely dig it. So let's take all these figures out of the way and let's put together the Kingpin build a figure. And boom, he looks amazing right there. Dang, that, that is Kingpin right there. Wow, that is, that's pretty cool. I gotta give you on that one, Hasbro. From the white coats to the, the pure aesthetics of having that big bulky body, you nailed it. That is I awesome. I especially just love this pose right here. Like he, he's got his cane, which, you know, it's, I love that they threw that in there. Excellent, excellent touch. And you can hold it just like that. That's Kingpin, baby. Now with this hand, of course, it's a closed hand, so you can't do much with that. But look at the, the screaming face. Look at the veins popping out of the side of his head. That is cool. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's a fantastic head sculpt. Really, it is. That All the little lines, the creases, the split of the actual vein on his head. Everything is painted perfectly, too. Whoop. That kind of came right off, so that might be... You know, I actually prefer that so I can get the head to kind of come off easier, but, um, you know, you might want to see before you twist it too far off you might have the head it's it's solid on there now but if you go too far to the left or right it might pop off i mean the teeth this figure this face is is painted beautifully and the coat the jacket everything works all these creases in the jacket the buttons are painted really really nicely one thing i will say is that the purple of the tie it seems to be the same kind of purple they use for the monster venom and also for his little pocket square it kind of gets muddled in the black shirt, so maybe a lighter color or something would have been nice. Keep the purple, maybe more of a lavender, lighter color. Something to just offset the black. Maybe It, it would have popped. I think it really would have popped with that white and the black. It would have been a lighter color, but um, that also may not go exactly with Kingpin. You know, Kingpin needs to be fierce and everything else. Maybe a, maybe a red tie, maybe dark blue, something like that. But otherwise, man, I love this figure. And it's so funny because... It's a, it's such a boring, it's white, you know what I mean? It's a white figure, there's not a lot going on, but it's the kingpin, and you can feel the intensity, the heft, everything. This is a perfect, perfect kingpin figure. I they nailed, You'll never have to do another kingpin figure ever again because they just, they nailed it. And here's the, the alternate head. This is more of like, <laughs> what did I call it? The, the why is the buffet closed head? <laughs> And then he destroys your entire family for doing that again. Nicely painted. Nice side profile. This looks fantastic. I'll switch the heads in just a second. We can go over the articulation really quick. Here is the cane. I love the, you know, the diamond at the top. Nicely painted gold and into a black plastic cane. Not a huge amount of weight to this, but he does hold it nice. And I love the way he hand, his hand holds it on that sense. 
articulation standard in the sense of he's going to look up and down about that much, go up about that much, look down. You know, you can get him really. God, that's, that's a fantastic, angry head sculpt. Let me switch him out really fast. Get him on that and then see. Yeah, uh, it's like, oh, yeah, you want to do business kind of thing? <laughs> Vincent D'Onofrio would be proud. You're going to do 360 single jointed elbows, and he does have hand rotation. And if you check out Troy Zaff, go at Troy Zaff at Instagram. You can pop these hands off, switch them with the Monster Venom hands, and when you got that Amal Farouk head, you're going to make one heck of an awesome Shadow King. So trust me on that. Go check out his photos. They are amazing. I'll put his little name down right there in the corner. This thing is awesome. He's got this red ruby ring. He'll be punching you for days. That thing will be running your forehead just like Ace Ventura. <laughs> very, very cool. Man, I just, I love this figure. I love everything. He does have kind of like an upper crunch to him. Not not a whole lot of movement, but it, it's more for twisting around and such. No waist rotation. Kicks out about that much. Kicks back about that much. He does have a thigh swivel. And he's got single jointed knees. And he does have an ankle pivot. So that's really, really cool. I like this figure a lot, man. This is, I've said it before, a lot of this wave is like Spider Man from the 90s, like the animated series. You know, of course, they're doing the comic books, but a lot of characters in this wave did come from the Spider Man animated series. So we are one step closer to completing almost ca every character that seemed to ever be on that show. That's, that's pretty cool. And I love it. I love this figure. I highly recommend him. Super special shout out and a thank you again to Kokomo Toys. Way, way down in Kokomo. Go check them out. They are amazing. They sent over all the figures I had, I needed to complete the Kingpin. So please check them out. I'll have all their information in the description below. They know their stuff. They are fantastic. So what do you guys think? Is this like the Build-A-Figure of the Year 2019 already? Sound off below. Let me know. Let's talk Kingpin. Let's talk toys. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find and build some amazing action figures like this Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man Kingpin Build-A-Figure Wave Kingpin. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.